Today we're looking at the Punic Wars. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer World History. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com where you'll find more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. The Punic Wars were a series of three important wars fought between Rome and Carthage, which was located at the northern end of the African continent on the Mediterranean Sea in what today would be the modern-day country of Tunisia. The wars lasted from 264 BC to 146 BC. Carthage had been settled by people from northern Africa and Phoenician traders who had originally come from the region of modern-day Lebanon on the eastern side of the Mediterranean. The name Punic Wars comes from the Latin word for Phoenicians, which was Punicus. The main cause of the Punic Wars was the struggle for power and control over trade routes and territories in the Mediterranean Sea. Both Rome and Carthage were growing empires, and they competed for dominance in the region. Carthage was a powerful city-state who was attempting to expand its influence over the Mediterranean region, while Rome was expanding its influence across the Italian peninsula. The First Punic War, lasting from 264 to 241 BC, began when Rome interfered in a conflict between Carthage and a city called Messana on the island of Sicily. Rome supported one side while Carthage supported the other. The war mainly took place at sea, where both sides fought numerous naval battles. Rome, which had historically excelled at land-based warfare, had to adapt and built a powerful navy. One tactic the Romans developed was using boarding bridges to secure themselves to Carthaginian ships and then sending troops across the boarding planks, basically turning a sea battle into a form of a land-based fight. Eventually, the Romans defeated Carthage, forcing them to surrender Sicily and pay a large sum of money to the Romans. Rome additionally won the islands of Corsica and Sardinia as a result of this war. The victory in this war marked the beginning of Rome's expansion outside of the Italian peninsula. The Second Punic War, lasting from 218 to 201 BC, is perhaps the most famous of the three wars. The Carthaginians were led by the famous general Hannibal, who sought revenge against Rome for what had happened in the First Punic War. Hannibal famously marched his army, including war elephants, across the Pyrenees, through modern-day France, and across the Alps into Italy. Hannibal lost nearly half his army in this march, but the strategy did catch the Romans off guard as they never expected to be attacked from the north. Over the next several years, Hannibal won several major battles against the Romans, including the Battle of Cannae in 216 BC, in which the Romans lost 44,000 soldiers compared to barely 6,000 lost for Hannibal and his army. The Battle of Cannae is considered the worst defeat in Roman military history. Despite these victories, however, Hannibal was never able to capture the city of Rome itself. The Romans' determination and ability to rebuild its armies eventually led to Hannibal's defeat. Rome sent an army to attack Carthage, forcing Hannibal and his army to return to Carthage to defend their home. There, Rome defeated Hannibal and the Carthaginians. The war ended with the Treaty of Zama, where Carthage lost most of its territories and was forced to pay heavy fines to Rome. The Third Punic War, lasting from 149 to 146 BC, started basically because Rome feared that Carthage might once again become a more powerful enemy. Many Romans wanted revenge on Carthage for all of the destruction Hannibal had caused during the Second War. In fact, one prominent Roman senator named Cato ended all of his speeches in the Senate by saying Carthage must be destroyed. Despite Carthage's efforts to appease Rome, the Romans saw an opportunity to destroy their rival once and for all. They laid siege to Carthage for three years until the city fell. Rome destroyed Carthage, sold its people into slavery, and salted the earth so that nothing would grow there again. The Punic Wars had several significant consequences. Firstly, Rome emerged as the dominant power in the Mediterranean, paving the way for the Roman Empire. Secondly, Carthage's destruction ensured Rome's supremacy in the region for centuries to come. Thirdly, the wars had devastating effects on both sides, leading to the loss of countless lives and resources. 
And then finally, the Punic Wars changed the course of history, shaping the political, economic, and social landscape of the ancient world. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.